Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different from the normal ones. I don't really usually do like hair stuff on my channel because as you know, typically my hair is just the way it is. I just like to curl it and leave it. Otherwise, if I'm too lazy, I just literally leave it straight. But I wanted to have some fun and I know this past year I've been challenging myself to kind of like step out of my comfort zone and to do new things. Like I've been trying to force myself to learn how to apply false lashes perfectly and I think I've nailed that. If you also notice, I've been forcing myself to use a lot more or eyeshadow color to play around with color a little bit more beyond just the typical I guess browns and orange shades that I always use so another thing I really want to try myself to do this year is to play with new hairstyles and get comfortable with different looks so that I can try a bunch of different looks out and have options to go to whenever I need to because sometimes when I go to special events I'm like I have no idea what to do and this girl's vaxxed if you guys missed that video, check it out. I documented the entire process of myself getting my first dose of the Pfizer vaccine. Vaxxed, relaxed, no vaxxed, because I get lasered, and ready to enjoy a shot girl summer. We ain't having a hot girl summer because this chick's married, so we're gonna have a shot girl summer, and I'm down for that. Which means, though, there's gonna be a lot more events and parties going on, hopefully, this summer, once everybody else can also get vaxxed too. And all the lockdown and stay at home orders are lifted in Ontario. It has been the, the most frustrating, like, six months ever. I don't know about you guys, but I cannot wait to get out of the stay at home order. So. Ideally, if we can have some fun this summertime, that's what I'm down for. And I wanted to play around with it a little bit and to have some, like, I don't know, alternate hairstyles beyond just like this. Because I like to have my hair out of the face usually in the summertime since it gets so hot and I sweat like crazy. But I have long, freaking long hair. I'm also waiting for salons to open so I can get like a snip as soon as possible. I want to get like at least this much taken off the bottom. I haven't fully decided if I want to color my hair again yet or leave it natural until after the wedding. Again, we were supposed to get married last year. At this point this year, I would have had like short hair by now and color and probably something a little bit more fun, but I've been keeping my hair long for the wedding. We're getting there, guys. We're slowly getting there. Two year delay, and I'm trying as hard as possible to stay with that idea, so yeah, we're gonna roll with it. Anyways, long ass ramble and intro. I know a lot of you guys get really tired of hearing me talk. I get comments all the time criticizing that I talk way too much. I don't care. <laughs> this is my channel. If you don't like it, close the video, watch something else. Those of you guys who've stuck around long enough and have come back and watched my videos seem to enjoy the way I talk and how much I talk, so I'm gonna continue doing it. And I believe that you should be happy with yourself and not have to modify yourself for other people and to suit their needs. So for all of y'all haters out there who say I talk way too fast, I talk way too much, and I take forever to get to the point of things, bye Nara, <laughs> we'll see you in the next video. You will miss the rest of this one. But for anybody else who's interested in sticking around, let's just jump right into it. Okay, so over the past year, I've acquired a couple of different hair extension pieces from this company called INH. They sent over these two last year. Um, I think this one is like for you to wrap around your ponytail, I think, something like that. No, this is a U-clip to give you overall length. And I was meaning to play around this last year when I had more colored ends, I would say, like longer ends here, just to give myself more like volume and length. And I was actually hoping at the point when I got this that I still had a lot of color in my hair I would be able to have my wedding this year so that this would just give me more volume of hair to play with for my wedding hairstyles. Fortunately, that didn't happen. So we're gonna see if this still works with my hair today. If not, I may have to go back and get this in my natural color. Not black, my hair is brown, just to note that. And then we also got this little, I think this is a little like bun and it's supposed to make your hair like nice and round or are these, nope, these are bangs. I have bangs. It has been, oh, okay, so I have bangs here. P.S. I just recently trimmed them this week, so they're doing this weird flippy outy thing whenever I curl my hair. If anybody has tips on how to fix this and not get your ends like burp, coming outwards, please let me know. I never curl my ends, I leave them quite straight, so I was hoping they would just like lay flat. But I guess because they're so short, they just <laughs> lay more horizontal than anything. But I haven't had like real bangs in, oh, it's probably been like five or six years now. I used to have like that comb over bang look in the front when it was trendy and like, 2012 to 2014 and I wanted to play around with bangs again to see if I could style them so we have a pair of bangs here with us today and I am lucky that I recently cut off all the the bleaching for my bangs because now my bangs are just like my natural hair color and I also got this one as well this is the ponytail in my natural brown color so you guys already know I have quite long hair it comes down to about like like here on my chest 
but it's not like voluminous. I have thick hair and I have a lot of hair, but because it's so like thick and coarse and straight, it usually falls pretty flat and it's quite heavy. So I wanted to try something that was gonna give me some more volume. So we got this one. And then I also realized I do have a U-clip in the dark brown, so I was wrong. This is this color. To compare the two, this is what I got last year. This is what I have right now. Very different. This is definitely not gonna match my hair right now. This will 100% match my hair right now. So we're gonna play around with these and see what fun hairstyles we can come up with. My goal is to see if I can create like at least three cute hairstyles for spring, something different that I've never really done with my hair before. And we're gonna roll with it and see how it goes. So without further ado, let's start off with hairstyle number one. Seeing as I don't really ever play around with hair extensions, we're gonna keep it easy and we are going to try the pony tail one and it is this one in case you guys are wondering this is in the brit dark brown as always i will include everything that i'm using down in the description bar below so you guys can check it out if you want to pick up the same ones but i actually really like that all of their hair products come in these little packages and like pouches for you to easily store that way it doesn't get damaged because i don't have bags for this stuff at my place and i'm not somebody who collects like weaves and has those like head mannequins that i can store them on top of so this is a really great way to store all of your hair extensions and hair pieces at home without having to worry about them getting damaged so i'm gonna go ahead and take this one out it actually has two components up here so this one on the top i believe is for you to wrap around the little ponytail and then this is the piece de resistance okay so it's in like a little hair neck it's really really beautifully rich dark brown with like super super shiny hair but i do like that it's in this like hair net so it's protected while it's traveling let's open her up and take her out i don't actually know how to open this okay so i'm gonna be really careful with this because i don't want to damage anything this is actually my first time using this so it's kind of like a first impressions the same time as like a hair tutorial i guess i got the hair net off that was covering it but this is how long this whole little hair extension piece is it's gonna be a long ass pony guys she long <laughs> comes down a little bit lower okay i have like sweatpants on so i'm just gonna stand up so you guys can kind of see so if i hold it up to where my hair starts here all the way down to like here it matches almost my hair length maybe like a couple inches longer very silky soft too and it looks really really high quality and essentially matches my hair color to a T. You probably wouldn't have even noticed. So this is a giant panel of hair it's attached onto a Velcro. And essentially what you do is you tie your hair up into a ponytail and then you wrap this around the ponytail and secure it with the Velcro in place. So if I was to mimic like this is the ponytail and I'm going around it like this. And then when you're done, you take this little extra hair piece here and you wrap this around the ponytail and the Velcro to hide it. There's actually some bobby pins that come with this so you can clip this in place underneath your ponytail to hide it. So you don't see that this is like a fake strap of hair wrapping around the Velcro spot here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna prep my hair first and what you're gonna do is tie it up into like a little high pony i have some bangs that are definitely not gonna tie up i'm gonna tie my hair up nice and tight up here i like my ponytails pretty high up this is gonna give you like that ariana grande super fluffy ponytail look so this is just my natural hair tied up right now i mean it looks pretty long already but we want her longer so we're gonna attach this little hair extension piece it just slipped down my leg and got like really naughty so i'm just brushing out really quickly with my hands to kind of make all the hair sleek again. And there's this like little fabric padding situation up here. I think this is the part that you wrap around at the top of your ponytail. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna try my best to demonstrate this to you guys. This is my first time ever. Oh, I also forgot to mention that there's a little comb up here too. So you can kind of really dig into the ponytail so that it doesn't fall out. We are going to try this. This is my first time doing it. So sorry if this really messes up. I'm glad I have a screen to see. Okay, so see this little comb thing here? We're gonna attach this to the top of my ponytail. I put it above the hair elastic so it doesn't slide down. And taking this side, the shorter side, I'm gonna wrap this around underneath the elastic, the base of my ponytail. And I'm gonna take, actually, you know what? I'm gonna take these uh, bobby pins off because we'll use those in a sec to secure these end pieces. Okay, so now that I've wrapped the short side underneath, I think I'm gonna, with the Velcro, I'm trying to peek my hands through so I can grab it. And you're gonna pull this underneath and wrap it around nice and tight to secure it so that the little weft of hair doesn't fall off during the day. And I'm gonna try my best to not attach any like rogue hairs I'm not supposed to. I think once you practice doing this, you get the hang of it a little bit better. And you're just gonna attach it to the Velcro. I think that's pretty good. So now all you have to do is taking this extra 
strand of hair here wrap this around to hide the velcro so that nobody knows for the worst wrap it around a few times okay so now that i only have this much left i'm actually going to tuck it underneath the base here and this is where the bobby pins come in handy you want to use this to secure this little strap of hair into your ponytail so that nobody can see it coming out and i like to do a little x because i find that that secures the bobby pins a little bit better in place but do what you may i know everybody has their own techniques for securing hair and that's it <laughs> so this is my hair as you can see you can see a little bit my hair underneath um if you want you can kind of like blend it in hide it a bit i probably would recommend not curling your hair underneath so it can like lay flat against the rest of the hair and look like it's more blended in. I'm sure once I cut off the dry split ends of my natural hair where it's like colored, it's gonna blend in a lot better. But in the meantime, I love it. It's a little heavy because I'm not used to having this much hair in my head. It's a little bit more weighted than I'm used to. But I like the look of it. It's giving me like really, really freaking long hair. Let me see if I can hide this little curly bit here. Fussing around with me, she don't like her. Okay guys, what do you think? This is my fake long hair ponytail. I'm feeling like very Ariana Grande vibes. I wish I didn't curl my hair underneath. I didn't realize it was gonna poke through that much, but I kind of like it. It's super freaking long. I'm getting like very Ariana Grande, Kim Kardashian vibes. Vic very much proves. Okay, so I think this is a really cute way to kind of upgrade your hair for the summertime. You can get it off your face. It looks super chic, nice and long and voluminous. Obviously, I recommend not curling your hair underneath so it lays flat against it since this hair overall it's quite like wavy at the bottom. There is a bit of a curl, but the overall hair isn't curled. So you want to make sure that it kind of melts into it smoothly. Otherwise you're going to see it peeking through like this. I think if I was to leave this straight and I was to remove all the, the split ends that are nice and dry, this would look really freaking cute. And I love it. This is a nice kind of like luxurious, effortless vibe that I was going for for the summertime without having to have long hair myself. So let me know what you guys think. If you like this look, I'm going to call this the Ariana Grande look. I don't know. You guys tell me the extra long luxurious ponytail look. What do you think? Okay, we're gonna move on to look number two. Okay, so that hair is off. We're gonna go on to hairstyle number two. And I've been dying to get myself a pair of curtain bangs, but I am really worried what it's gonna look like on myself because I haven't had bangs in years. And even though I have these little ones, they're more kind of just like wispy face framing bangs. And before I full on commit to, I guess like curtain bangs where they kind of go like this. I feel like I would like the look because I like it when my bangs drip in my face. I decided let's just see if we can try it with this little bang clip on <laughs> and see how it goes. I'm a little bit nervous because I've never used fake bangs before. I got this in the same color as the pony clip. This is in like the dark brown. And I believe you're just supposed to like clip it into your head and then just arrange it. It looked really, really easy on their website and from a lot of the other videos that I saw of everybody else trying them on. So I have high hopes for myself and that I won't screw this up. This is what the underside looks like. There's a clip up here and two on the bottom here, which I think really helped to secure it into your head. I believe you're supposed to snap the top one into like the crown of your head and then the two bottoms on like either side somewhere. Please bear with me as I try to figure this out for the very first time. Um, I may screw it up. I'm really worried. Let's try this. We're gonna clip her, I guess, I don't know. I need somewhere where my hairline still exists because I have a really high forehead. So this is the bottom here. I'm gonna try to line this with my hairline. I don't, does it even matter if it doesn't line with your hairline? Who knows? We're just trying this. Go a little bit farther so you can comb it in and snap it down in place. Okay, where's my natural hair? My natural hair is just like curling in with this. I probably should have sorted this before I started. No, I'm gonna take this off and restart again. <laughs> Maybe we start with the bottom first. Is this what it would look like with curtain bangs? Cause I don't love it. But I do like that I'm wearing a really high forehead like I told you guys. I think I just need a second to kind of like style this. Okay, I didn't repin the bangs, but I want to show you guys what it would look like if I was to actually have like forehead bangs. I haven't had forehead bangs in years. I think probably since in like grade six. It's not the vibe for me. I'm getting very like 70s, 80s, like, Abba, Heather Locklear. Not that I have an issue with it. I just don't think it really suits my personal face shape. And I also tried to rearrange this to see if I could show you guys what it looked like when I had, like see these like two stringy pieces, not cute for me. I think I just have to like totally reclip it and rearrange it so I can do like the whole curtain bang look. Yeah, this is not my jam. I'm, this reminds me I'm never getting bangs cut to my forehead ever again. Uh, thank you for showing me what I could hypothetically look like. I'm gonna adjust this and push it down a little bit lower because I feel like when it parts here, it comes up like really freaking high. And I know that's where my forehead 
Ooh, it's actually kind of a little bit better. I don't know, it just looks kind of weird right here because you can see my natural hairline. So I'm gonna push it down a little bit lower to reduce this forehead gap a little bit. And then maybe from there, I can recreate the actual proper curtain bang look that I'm looking for. Okay, I'm back guys. So I've repositioned the bangs to suit my hairline a little bit better to not make my forehead so wide. And I think I've nailed it. This is essentially what I would get if I had curtain bangs. And if you guys are feeling the whole curtain bang trend, then I definitely recommend getting a pair of like bangs to try it out for yourself first before going ahead and cutting your hair to see if you like the look. From this, I think this is also a really fun way of experimenting around with that style without having to commit to curtain bangs fully because I know bangs take freaking forever to grow up and as much fun as they are to play along with the trends that you currently see online. Sometimes when you cut your bangs too short and you don't love them, you can't go back, you gotta grow it up. So this is like a really, really easy way to play up the curtain bang trend and to get away with it without having to actually commit to getting a curtain bang yourself. I think this is such a cute and fun way to like elevate your summer hairstyle look. You can even like tie your hair up into like a low ponytail. This is a very different vibe than what I'm used to because I usually don't have bangs this short or this thick. But it's fun and I've been considering curtain bangs and I was on the fence for it because I wasn't sure if I wanted to commit to them So I think I'm definitely gonna use these little bang extensions for the summertime if I want to recreate this look and Not have to potentially regret it down the road. This is not to say that anybody who has curtain bangs won't Enjoy it and will regret it. It's just a fun way to experiment with your hair to recreate the look without having to commit permanently to it so Yeah, highly recommend these bangs if you want to recreate that look or if you just want to try out bangs for yourself for fun And you're too afraid to actually permanently cut your hair. These are really freaking cute and I am obsessed Okay, so I've taken out the bangs and the next thing I'm gonna try out is the U-clip in the dark brown. This is supposed to give me an insane amount of volume and I'm really excited to see what my hair's gonna look like with it on. I know the bottoms of my hair currently are still colored. I can't wait to remove this or to recolor my hair again so it doesn't look like I've literally just like dip dyed my hair on the bottom. But for the sake of this video, let's just pretend it doesn't exist and that my hair actually looks all one color and will blend in properly with this U-clip because I'm really hoping it's gonna just look nice and cute and fuller on its own. So this is what the entire hair looks like. It's quite heavy. Anytime you get hair extensions, you're just gonna have to expect that it feels heavy on your hair because you're adding quite a bit more weight. So let's just open this bad girl up and I'll show you what it looks like when I take it out of the hairnet. I have taken her out and she essentially looks like this. It's like a full head of hair. Like I said, dark brown like all the other ones that I got. It matches really closely to my personal hair color. I wanna show you what it looks like underneath. It's just like this giant flap with a ton of clips. And I'm just hoping that this stays secure on my head. I'm gonna brush out really lightly. I'm not exactly sure how to apply this because I've never done this before. So keep your fingers crossed that I can apply this properly on. I think first thing I need to do actually is to probably tie up my hair so that it's out of the way and I believe you attach this to like the base of your head or something like that I may need to watch a video give me a sec let me go check out their YouTube and I'll be right back okay so I kind of checked out some instructions and it looks like what I need to do is to create a u-shaped section around the crown of my head I think the crown of my head is a top here so I'm gonna gather some hair I guess like this and then it says clip the top section out of the way in a temporary bun. They also did supply this little scrunchie, so that's probably what they meant by a temporary bun using this. So I'm gonna do that. She is tied up lightly. So now it says to place this around the base, um, starting with the four clips at the top. So go ahead and snap those open. I'm really hoping this is gonna create super thick hair for summertime. It's gonna look really cute and mermaid-esque so I can give out all of my mermaid cottagecore vibes. You guys know I love cottagecore. Here we go. Where's the base of that U-shape? I hope this is symmetrical. We got one, two, and then we got one more side over here. Snap it down. Last one on this side. Flip the two on the bottom in. So I clipped off all the bottom ones. Now it says all you have to do is take your bun off. Okay, so now that the hair is out, so you're supposed to let down your hair and then using a middle heart kind of just like smooth it over the rest of your hair, the extensions, and then kind of brush it down in place. And then you're supposed to have like a long seamless look now. So I've kind of just pulled it forward in the front. You can definitely still see my hair naturally where it's dyed towards the ends, but it definitely 100% looks really freaking full and I feel like a princess mermaid. I'm shedding quite a bit. This is my first time using this, so I feel like I may have lost a couple hairs from the U-shape extension, but I'm gonna stand up and you guys are gonna see my <laughs> sweatpants like before, but you can see how much longer and fuller this makes my hair look. Okay, so I'm crouched on my couch here 
so that I can get far away back enough for you guys to see what this looks like. But this is how full my hair looks. So this You Should Be Extension is actually made with synthetic hairs, but it honestly doesn't feel that synthetic. It's like super silky smooth, feels really long. It doesn't add a lot of weight. For the amount of weight that I said that it felt like in my hands, it's not that heavy on my head. It was actually a lot heavier with that little ponytail extension than it was with this U shape extension. And I really love it. I'm getting like all of the richest like mermaid, cottage core, thick hair, luxurious vibes. Oh, I love it. I wish you couldn't see my personal hair ends so it could blend in perfectly. Obviously, if you want to get, I think they have some ombre ones too so that theirs will blend in easily with yours if you have color that matches with their products. I'm going to show you what it looks like from the back if I bring everything back here. I haven't even seen the back yet, so this is going to be a mystery for me as I see it with you guys. I'm going to check online to see if I can curl this to make this match my personal hair right now since my hair is also curled. Again, I do wish that I had the ends of my personal hair cut off so it would be a little bit more seamless, but I'm really liking this vibe and how thick and long my hair looks. Look, it's almost coming down to my bum, guys. It actually does touch my bum. This is the very end here, and it's touching down to my bum crack. I haven't had hair that long since, like, I don't know when. I think the last time I had hair that long was probably in, like, grade 9. I had hair really long back then, guys. Ah, this is probably my favorite one since... I probably should have started with this one first. I don't know why I didn't start with it because I was a little bit intimidated by how much hair there was, but I love this look. It just looks so freaking full and bouncy and thick and exactly what I wish my hair looked like if I had this much hair. This is literally like double my hair volume and I'm obsessed. I'm probably going to use this one for my wedding if I don't decide to balayage or ombre my hair again because it suits my personal hair color like literally perfect to a T. I'm so happy with this. Obsessed. I might just actually wear this out later when I take the dog for a walk. It's so freaking cute and so long and thick. Oh, I love it. It's so like soft. I could see her all day just like stroking this hair. So that is essentially it for the video. I know there wasn't much to it, but I wanted to kind of like play around with these hair extensions with you guys on here and to try some new hairstyles for the summer. I know this one's not necessarily like a different hairstyle, but it just made my hair feel so much thicker. And now I can do like really cute, thick, chunky braids with these. I think that'd be so adorable for the summertime. It's just gonna make my hair just look so much more like oomph and like chef's kiss. I'm excited for this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, I'm going to link everything that I use down in the description bar below so you can check it out if you want. I do have a discount code with INH as well and I'm going to include it down below along with right here if you guys want to get a little discount with your purchase because you know a little discount is always helpful. But as always, if you guys want to see more of me, you know where to find me. I'm always up on here every Thursday and Sunday at 7 p.m. except for this week. I took a little bit of a break because it was a long weekend and I did want to relax a little bit. But usually every Thursday and Sunday at 7 p.m. And if you guys want to see more of me, you know where to find me over on Instagram and on TikTok where I post quite frequently so you can get a little bit more of me over there. If you're not sick of me here on YouTube yet, take a shot every time I said me. You're gonna get drunk really quickly. I'm sorry about that, guys. I hope you had an amazing day and enjoyed watching this video and enjoyed watching me make a fool of myself trying to try out different hair extensions for the first time ever. And I hope you guys had fun discovering all these new hairstyles together with me. It was so exciting to do. I'm definitely gonna try some of them out and wear them outside as well. And then you'll catch them on Instagram if you see me wearing it with an outfit. But I hope you guys have an amazing day and that you had fun watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.